a lunchtime recipe or uh, also you can have it in the morning for breakfast I'm gonna give you a lunchtime snack or uh, breakfast or you can do this in the morning for your breakfast also as I said before thank you so much guys to subscribe to my youtube channel we are it is brilliant I love you all and honestly you know what happened is there is so much recipe will be coming out very soon to you guys and you know I just want to share about my love to you to say respect goes to all of my fans and my teams big up on yourself we got people all over the place being saying chef Ricardo you are amazing and you know what I mean I have to give back the energy to the fans and I say I love you all guys I love you so much and you know what Ben I'm gonna give you a simple recipe where you can make this at home yeah Yes, you can make this one at home. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus Me and get your recipe, get your ideas. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click in that bell. It's very important. And also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and my Instagram page. You can also follow Chef Ricardo Cook It all the way. I love you all. I love you so much, my fans, my friends. Lunchtime meal. All right, guys. So basically, what we're going to do I'm going to show you the first thing. I'm going to show you all of my ingredients which I'm going to be using. It's a very simple meal and a very simple idea. You know and I mean, I come across it and it was fantastic. And the only thing come to my mind is to share it with my fans. Yeah. First thing I must say, I have one bread roll right here. And I have a slice of a yellow cheese, avocado, and some, they call it cherry tomato, and two eggs which we need to fry. All right. So basically I'm going to remove the raw egg from right here and I'm going to put the raw egg over here because we're going to fry the egg them in the next couple of minutes. Alright guys, then next thing I must say, what I want to do, yeah, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. My cherry tomato then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply cut them up very, very small because we're going to use, I'm going to show you exactly I'm going to be using them for so I'm gonna be cutting up them like a little bit small I'm not gonna be using a lot and I'm gonna pop them straight inside of this ball as I can see right here what I'm doing right here it's gonna be a really nice lovely simple you can make this in the morning for your breakfast or you can make it and bring it to work it's just some ideas when we're gonna share with my fans and because you don't know what happened. I have to take care of my fans. I love you so much, guys. You know what I mean? On all the supporting Chef Ricardo, on all these leaving the comments. So I'm just gonna simply share this recipe with my fans. And telling us that this is what you can make for breakfast. Uh, you can make it also for a lunchtime snack or a lunchtime meal or if you just feel for something different you know you can make this honestly and it's really nice really really nice all right guys so what you need to do is let's get your cherry tomato or your plum tomato any one of them you want to use cut them up very small like this really nice then you're gonna get your avocado every time you're going to do your avocado guys please put your avocado on a cutting board and then mark the knife around it don't put the avocado into your hand I want to try cut to you cut yourself no do that at all guys that's simple put it on the cutting board then after you do that simple remove it and that's what exactly what's going on right there so after you do all of that work this is what you're gonna do get a bread knife um, a table knife simple cut between it like this and that's simple cut it very small inside of it you don't want to cut it too big you just want to cut it very very small then use a knife and simple scrape just use a small Table teaspoon and simply scrape it out like this and it will just drop right out very small and really nice look at that that is fantastic guys really really nice so what we want to do we might just use a whole lot of avocado and you know we're gonna use the avocado the all of the avocado because you know what 
avocado is a thing like this, you know what I mean? I don't like to put down avocado, I like to use it up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna simple cut down like this. But don't use a sharp knife, use the table knife and cut it down like this, all right guys? Very small. Lovely. So that's as exactly what you can see right there. Also, I have one spring onion left and I wanna use it in it because I know the spring onion will bring up a lovely flavor towards it also. So one spring onion, the simple cut it up very finely. Love spring onion. If you got some red onion, that's a few red onion, but not really so you have to do that. You know what I mean? So that's the spring onion right there. Now what I'm going to do next is a simple crack a little bit of pepper. Nice one. And a simple mix it up like this. The avocado and the tomato. Alright, look at that. That is beautiful and looking lovely and nice already. Let's put that one side. And also what we're going to do is we're going to get a plate. Alright guys, and also we're going to get the roll, and I'm going to show you, we're going to cut the roll into Alright, so that's the roll right there Remember that this is a really fantastic recipe for the fans and, and I want you guys to see exactly what I've been doing right here, alright So, that's the roll so basically, this is the bottom of the road and this is the top. So basically, we need to put the avocado and the tomato on top of the roll like this. If you want to put some butter, you can put butter, but I'm just going to just leave mine like this. If you want to butter your bread, you can butter your bread. The only reason why, I don't, you know, because I'm going to be frying the egg and I don't want to put any butter on it. So I'm just going to just leave it plain as it is. The next thing what we're going to do, after you do all of that, we're going to fry the egg, all right? Nice one. So basically, a medium-sized frying pan on the stove, and I'm gonna simply pop roughly about two teaspoons of olive oil or vegetable oil, whatever oil you have at your home, you can use, all right? I just turned on my stove about four, three minutes ago. I got my eggs and crack into a bowl, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pop the egg in it like this before it start to fry and pop top. Because I don't like when I'm frying it and it just keep popped up, you know what I mean? And I'm going to pop the next egg in it like this. Egg doesn't take long to fry, guys. So, what we're going to do, we're going to pop a little bit of salt and pepper. And salt. Nice one. So, we're going to fry the egg. After we fry the egg, also, you can break the yolk. Alright. So we're gonna fry the egg and we all know how to fry egg. Once one side is cooked, you spin it over to the other side and cook the other side, guys. Enjoy the recipe. Nice and lovely. So basically, guys, right here, I just finished frying my eggs. Then. And all I'm going to do, yeah, is get my egg and I'm gonna simple put the egg on top of it like this. Wow. Just don't want to make this thing spoil. I just want to make it right and proper way. So that's one of the egg. And I'm going to get another one. And I'm gonna simple pop it straight like this on top of it. So it's gonna be really lovely and nice. Then what you're going to do is get the cheese. Just a slice of cheese and put it on top of it like this 
all right remember that that's all you're going to do then get your low then you get the next section and put it on top of it just like this and it's a very very easy easy recipe for the fans and when I can make this at home as I say you can make this and bring it to work and shoot it to co-workers them all right honestly guys it's really really nice if you make it at home and you don't like it honestly we're not a shuffle card just tell shuffle card away when you think about it then what we're going to do is just simply cut it into half that's the fans and can see exactly what's going on because if i don't cut it into half you're not gonna know exactly what's going on so i'm gonna cut it into half and i'm gonna open it like this all right that's you guys can see exactly what's going on inside all right guys so basically as you can see right there all you have to do is a simple put a little bit of leaf just like this for color enough to overdo it but just like this exactly what i'm talking about you can make this bring it to work share it to co-workers and tell them that they saw Chef Ricardo make this and you're willing to make it at home. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo show. Got a lot more recipe. I got a lot more ideas. A lot more things I say you can use this for lunchtime recipe. Breakfast in the morning. Whenever you like to make it, you can make it, guys. I will be coming up to part two. Look forward for part two of this one. Thank you so much. I love you all. And you know, maybe this is just a simple recipe. Just I'm sharing with the fans and to say it's an amazing recipe. Avocado with cherry tomato or cheese and fried egg with a bread roll. Can't go wrong. Enjoy the recipe. Subscribe. Leave a comment below. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.